Once you've found resources for your project, it's important to consider whether they're really what you need for your work. There are a great many resources out there from scholarly, peer-reviewed articles through to opinion pieces in newspapers, but different types of research need different types of resource. Most students and researchers will be time poor, so it's important to think about what you really have the time to read. This short video offers a brief introduction to some of the questions you need to ask when evaluating resources. The first question to ask is if the resource is really relevant to your project. At this stage, you're not making a judgment on quality, but just thinking about whether it covers what you need it to. Sometimes titles and descriptions of works can be misleading or refer to a different aspect of your topic, so it's important to check relevance before you devote time to it. If the resource is a book or an ebook, you can scan the contents page in the introduction to get a better idea of the topics covered. With a journal article, look at the abstract and skim through the headings used in the article itself. If there's a catalogue record for the individual item, take a look at the assigned subject headings to make sure that the resource is on topic. Finally, you can scan any references or look for items which have cited the one you're currently reading. If you recognise materials that you've read for this project already, it's a good indication that the resource in hand will be useful. Once you've established that the resource is on topic, the next question to ask is whether it's actually suitable for your project. It's likely that most of the materials you're reading will be scholarly work such as academic books and peer-reviewed journal articles, but you might also find yourself consulting other, wider resources. Think about the types of information you need for your project and whether the resource provides that. Does it present fact or opinion? Does it cover the topic in enough depth and at the right level? Although you may want to look at a basic introduction to a topic, for example, in a textbook, you will also be expected to read more widely and look at more current academic research. If you're doing academic research into a topic, then looking at current news stories will not be as appropriate as academic journal articles. Think about the audience for the resource. Is it aimed at an academic audience or the general public? What does this tell you about how much depth it's likely to go into on your topic? It's important to consider the suitability of a resource to your research project before you read it thoroughly in order to make the best use of the time you have available. Critical reading is an important skill that you'll develop as you go through university. Being a critical reader involves thinking about the resources you're reading and asking questions. There are several questions that you can ask about your reading. Think about the author or authors of the resource. Are they recognised names in your field? And do they have reliable credentials that you can trust? Do they have any kind of sponsorship or agenda? It's perfectly appropriate for an author to argue a particular viewpoint, but this needs to be balanced with an analysis of opposing views or schools of thought. If they have any particular vested interest, such as a sponsorship from a commercial company, this should be declared. You also need to ask similar questions about the publisher of the resource and check that there's no bias. Research published by a major industrial company might unfairly promote their products rather than giving a more balanced view. Check how long ago the resource was published and whether the field has changed since publication. Some areas of research move incredibly fast, meaning that traditional publications can sometimes lag behind. Remember that it can take an academic book months or even years to get to publication. So if you need current information, you might find it better to consult journal articles instead. Think about the wider audience of the resource. Consider if it's written for an academic audience or a larger one and what this might tell you about any angle that it's taking. Is the resource looking to reinforce a particular opinion that its intended audience has? And what might this tell you about any other biases in the piece? This is often the case of newspaper articles which cater to a specific audience with specific opinions. When evaluating any resource, the key areas to consider are authority, reliability, objectivity, accuracy, and purpose. Developing the skills to critically evaluate and select appropriate resources will help you throughout your studies and beyond, so it's always good to keep these questions in mind.